Okay, it's time to make another painting video, and this time we're going to do another type of gill, bluegill, or panfish, and it's going to look like that. I call it a renegade gill only because the song by Styx Renegade was playing while I was painting it, so there we go. I already did a white base coat. I used uh, golden brand titanium white high flow. Make sure it says high flow. <clears throat> then I'm going to go in with a Aztec pearl silver for the entire body. Try experimenting with other base coats besides white, gold, or silver, and then spray transparent paints over that, and you'll be surprised at different effects you can get. I like the Aztec. Um, pearls, they shoot better, and I get them at dingerbaits.com. Alright, just a light coat of silver. heat set in between each coats. Now we'll do the throat, belly area. And this is a Comart paint that I really like using. You can probably see the name here. I really can't pronounce it. Aeolian yellow. It really kind of darkens up into an orange or tint more than it is yellow once you put more layers on it. do part of the throat lightly I'm trying to see if I'm in the frame and that silver base coat really gives it a nice effect so just a little bit of the yellow a little goes a long way that's it. Then we'll heat set that. Alright, one more layer of paint on the throat. And this is, used to be called Indian Red. And now they changed it to Red Oxide. So we'll just use a little bit of the Red Oxide. And we'll do right over the, the yellow that we just painted a minute ago. Just a little bit. Really light, a little bit along the sides, so you can see a little bit of transition of color there. That's it. A little goes a long way. Okay, I was shooting, and the camera turned off. I don't know why, but I used some Createx purple, or actually lavender thinned it out and sprayed it just here on the sides. I don't know why the camera turned off, but uh, that's what happened. And we'll work with it. Okay, so here's our lavender on this lower part now. I'm going to create Tex Cobalt Blue. Their Cobalt Blue used to be lighter color. And they changed the formula now. It's a little darker, so I'll just spray a little bit less. And we're going to do the top part of the bait very lightly so that silver shows up I usually shoot on the side a little bit here so some of the overspray will transition into the purple a little low pressure that's what I like about the Comart paints you can sh shoot at low pressure and it's ready to go it's pretty thin don't go too heavy. See the transition here? You can still see the silver coming through. I like that. Move more on the back. That is it. Keep it simple. 
not a lot of color. Not a lot of layers of color. In other words, it's not real dark. That's why I like. Just a hint. So it looks more natural. All right, I'm going to heat set this and uh, this bait we're not going to use a scale mask. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This one I like to keep it simple and we're not going to use a scale mask. So right, I'm just cleaning the brush but the next step before I get to like dark stripes I like to put a lighter color in my brush first. I don't want to put a black in my brush then go to white and what if there's a little bit of black residue on the brush it comes through in the white. So <clears throat> we're not going to do a lot of white. We're going to just put a little white here on the gill plate. Doesn't take much. So I like to keep the pressure kind of low. Maybe like 15 PSI so I can be a little more accurate. Let's test spray off to the side a little bit. And just right here on the gill area. a solid solid white but you can see it's there a little white I don't go too heavy on color so it looks more natural again I don't know if you can see how the blue gradually transitions into the purple it gradually, gradually transitions into the belly colors so it looks like almost all one color and it changes on its own okay so we're done with the white now we're to go with um, basically the stripes and the gill marks. We're almost done. Okay, now for the stripes. And I use a comb such as this. Big comb I kind of got at Target. But lately I've been using on other projects a hair clip just like that. And that will look awesome going across the, the bait. In fact, let's try this one. Usually I do this one for bigger, broader stripes. So I'm going to wing it and I'm going to shoot through this and I'll show you the what it looks like, the different effect. And just go very light. Don't go too heavy on your stripes. stripes you can see that I'll heat set that and I'll do it on the other side Those black speckles on the gill actually look pretty natural maybe I'll keep them sometimes when you make a mistake it actually is something that'll work for you but all right lay your hair clip over here Spray lightly back and forth, just a little bit. Very light. See that? Now we'll spray some on the back. Look on the nose, around the eyes a little bit. stripes. Very subtle. In fact, I may switch to those stripes now. Usually I've been using the other comb. So, this is a hair clip you get at Target. Uh, it's in the women's beauty section, so grab it there. Just don't spend too much time there and look too creepy looking at women's stuff. Alright, <clears throat> for the gill marks, um, what do I do with it? Here it is. I went to Insane Custom Stencils by Russ Allen. You can find them on Facebook or InsaneCustomStencils.com. And you get a wheel like this. These are fins. You can do a fin on here if you want. Just like that. And you'd spray just the outside edge. Or here's the gill marks. We will do the gill. 
lay it right there. Very lightly. Just like that. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, I'll do the other side. Before I do that, I always wipe off the stencils. I have to flip it around. I don't want that black residual paint to get on the bait. against the bait. And I run the brush a little bit down the edge of that stencil too to kind of give that other secondary gill outline. That's what I like. There you go. That is it. That is done and that's about as simple as it gets and that's a killer looking bait. So give it a try. Again, try different base coats besides white. Try a gold or a silver like I did here. Um, you know, experiment. And if you screw it up, as long as you don't clear coat, I can wash this off with Windex or something else. So, um, For the clear coat, I use KBS Diamond Clear that I can dip. Sometimes I use E-Tex Light, Virotech Light, and brush it on, but I need a, a drying wheel. Uh, sometimes I use BSI or... DevCon, which are two-part epoxies. Um, also, you can put some pearl fleck in your clear coat, and that would kind of jazz it up a little bit. So, anyways, uh, subscribe, and I hope this helps, and best of luck and enjoyment in painting.